Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat and I try in this tutorial. Let me show you how you can easily create realistic skin texture in your images in Photoshop. So remember, sometimes when you are shooting, sometimes the aperture tends not to get in focus the skin textures, or sometimes when you are retouching images, we tend to over retouch and we lose out on the skin details in the images, and we have to create or to recreate that in post production or in photoshop so i'll show you how you can easily get back skin texture when you have lost it out in some areas in the skin so let me show you quick before after before you can proceed with this video so i'm using photoshop 2020 and you can see a quick before and after for this image so this is the image before you can see some areas didn't have textures at all and this is the image after so before after you can see even that facial texture that we added into the image is blending naturally into the image so let me just delete this so that you can understand everything from the very start and how you can create real skin texture in the images so this is the photo that we have and i'll just show you how you can do this so with only a background layer of your image what if i told you have a couple of layers in the background simply create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift alternate Control E on the keyboard for Windows. Then, if at all using Mac, you can use Shift Option Command E to create a stamp visible layer. But for my case, I only have the background layer to work with. So just come and create a new empty layer, and you can rename it to Textures if at all you want to. So Textures. So after doing this, you're going to fill this empty layer with 50% gray. So just come right here to Edit. So I'll just come to edit and I'll come to fill and come to the contents and simply select 50% gray. Make sure the blending is normal and opacity is 100% and, and I'll click OK. So this layer has been filled with 50% gray. So before we do any proceeding, we want to first of all convert this layer into a smart object. By smart object, I mean we want to be able to change, we want to change the values later on after applying them to this fair layer. So that is the advantage of, of using a smart object or a smart layer. So in order to create that layer, simply right click on this textures layer and simply come to convert to smart object. So you can see that it has created this icon. So after doing this, we're simply going to come to filter and come to our camera roll filter. So we want to include some part of digital noise or grain that is going to simulate or look like skin textures so just come to the effects and if at all you're having a slightly older version of camera raw you can use fx so just come to effects and simply come to grain and take up the grain until when you feel like the texture looks real to you and you can play around with the size so size is going to spread or make the textures closer so depending on how close or how far your image is you can play around with that and the roughness is basically how smooth or how rough the textures you want them to be so for my case i'll just use a medium around 41 so this is okay since i'm using a closer for this tutorial and i'll simply hit okay remember what i told you about a smart object you can change these values later, later on if at all you feel like you don't work best for your kind of image so you simply double click here and to open up the previous settings for the grain that you added into this camera raw filter layer so after doing this we're going to come to blend mode and change it from normal and we're going to change it all the way to overlay so when you change it overlay you can see it has created that texture but it doesn't look nice at all because it doesn't take into consideration the direction from which the light was coming because if at all you don't take into consideration the direction from which the light was coming your textures may be moving in an opposite direction and that won't look good or it won't blend better with the already existing skin textures so in order to achieve that we are simply going to come back to filter and you're going to come to stylize and you're going to come down to emboss so when you come to emboss you can see this hand right here the angle shows you you can move this around and choose the direction from which your light was coming so before you create skin textures you have to first of all make sure to understand 
the direction from which the light was coming or the light source that was hitting the skin because that light source determines the texture patterns on the skin or it determines the direction of the texture patterns that fall onto the skin so for my case you can start with, since we have a highlight right here and we have another highlight right here it means the light was coming all the way from this top left hand corner so make sure you move this handle to face in the direction from which the light was coming and in this way this will make the textures or the grain that we added into the image move in the direction of the already existing skin textures that we had as part of the image so i'm just going to move this slide it around 30. so you can start we have another option that says height so height is going to basically spread or move closer the skin details for your image so for the height basically i'll just move since this is a close-up i'll just use a height of three and am amount is basically how intense you want that grain to exist within your image so for the amount i'm just going to simply play around with this and choose the right spot for this kind of image so i use it remember this is a smart filter and we can change these values later on if at all we feel like they don't work best for our kind of image so I will use around 83 and I'll simply click OK. So right now the texture has been added to the skin, but it looks a little bit rough. So in order to smoothen this out, we're going to come back to filter and we're going to come to blur and come to Gaussian blur. So when we come to the Gaussian blur right here, we want to choose a slightly small radius. We don't want to completely lose out on the textures that we have created. We just want to add a tiny a tiny bit of smoothing onto the skin textures that we have included or created so we are going to take this up slightly so at around 0 0.3 that is when we are slightly blurring out the textures from the skin and i'll simply click ok so right now this has been embedded into the image so remember we have a smart filter and usually a smart filter comes with a white layer mask so in order to make sure that effect is affecting only the skin you are going to select the white layer mask and simply press ctrl i the reason for this is because the textures are also being part of the eyes and the lips and other areas that we don't want so select the white layer mask and simply press ctrl i on the keyboard to invert the effect and you can simply come and get the brush tool make sure the blend mode is normal and make sure the hardness is set all the way to zero and it is a soft round brush opacity 100 percent flat 100 percent make sure to have black and white on these two color swatches and if at all you have any other different color you can simply left click to set it to the default black and white so make sure that white is a foreground color remember in photoshop white is going to reveal and black is going to hide so with the white brush selected you are simply going to reveal our textures that were hidden behind this black mask so paint in the areas of the skin where you want to reveal the skin textures remember some areas may originally be having prominent textures and you can paint in those areas that you want to include or even have skin textures so i'm just going to paint in those areas and you can see in this way we are creating skin texture that looks real and highly realistic so when you feel like the effect is not okay or enough you can simply group this so by grouping this you can simply you can see the before and after so when we group it gives us the liberty to either increase or decrease on the opacity so if i told you have overdone you can come to opacity and reduce it then if i told you want to intensify on the effect of the skin texture simply press ctrl or command j on the keyboard and that is going to intensify the effect of the skin texture to your liking so i'll just simply reduce this slightly then if at all you feel like uh you wanted to change the values of any filter that you added you can simply double click and it's going to take you back to the original settings that you had included into for example the gaussian blend simply change or alter those changes later on so 
let me show you a quick before and after in a preview so this is the image without the texture and this is the image after creating the skin texture so this is it for this video and if at all you have learned a thing or two don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching see you yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating